before adding any nodes. Good idea. A notation whose identical pitch classes look identical, no matter how far out you go. Bad idea. A notation whose identical pitch classes never look anything like each other, no matter how far out you go. Good idea. Using an orientation whose time flow capitalizes on the page. Bad idea. Using an orientation whose time flow is broken as often as possible. Good idea. Using a time axis which is regular, just like in real life. Bad idea. Using a time axis which is irregular due to this bruising, swelling, and bleeding. Good idea. Indicating the strong beats in time. Bad idea. Dividing the strong beats from their weaker predecessors so that this space between the bar and its beat is actually a metrically non-existent gap. Good idea. Optionally indicating all the beats. Bad idea. Never indicating any beats, ever, but instead drawing the abstract rhythmic conventions back along the pitch axis. Good idea. Note durations which stretch. Bad idea. Note durations which never stretch. Good idea. Showing rhythm in a literal, visual time space so that even the most complex combinations of uplets and even polyrhythms are visually literal. Bad idea? Why would you ever notate silence? Good idea. Synchronizing this literal, visual time with physical time so that when it's presented in the ever-available video format, this time axis is never broken. Left is left, and right is right, and forward in time is forward in time. Bad idea. An inaccurately scaled, inconsistent, and busted timeline that belongs entirely to the more expensive and always silent paper. Even if you could synchronize this irregular axis to physical time, the metrically non-existent gap still forces either metric bleed-overs or jumps at every single measure.